Hi, Macy here. Welcome back to Code to Create. In this video, I will show you a very amazing plugin I use all the time when I'm testing my Unity games on the device. It is called Log Viewer. It simply shows all the own device log without having the device actually plugged in to our computers. It works perfectly on both devices. And let's get it started. I will show you how to set it up. Now I will show you how to get Log Viewer. We can get the Log Viewer on the Unity Asset Store. You can just go to Unity Software and click Window and try to find Asset Store. Unity Asset Store is actually a very great place to find any assets for a very reasonable price. It saves us a lot of time and uh, just makes our development easier and faster. So here we just look for Log Viewer. The first one is the one we are looking for. It's totally free and we can just click download. For me, it's showing import because I've purchased this or got this before. Just click import and Unity will download everything for us. So here shows all the assets. Just click import. I will just close the store. Here we have it. It's a reporter. You will see on the top navigation bar, you get one more option. It's called reporter. This is an easy way to just create the view logger for us. Let's just click reporter and click create. So here is a new game object being created. I will just create a script that's just log something out here. I will just create a new testing script, which will just lock a few lines for us. We don't need to use special command or anything. I will just do that update. I will say debug.log, just like regular way we keep track of locks in Unity. I will just say time. So here, every time it updates, it will show us a new log on the time. Let's go back to Unity. I will just attach this script to the camera. Just add a component, just put a test here. Then I will just make an Android build because it's a little bit easier. I will just click File, Build Settings, and switch to Android, click Add Current, and you should save this thing. Save it test thing and player settings. Always remember to change the bundle identifier. So I just put com dot company name dot lock. So this is just for testing purposes. You can use more professional bundle identifier for your own application or games. Let's just click build. Just say log APK and save it. You can click build and run as well. That will directly install the APK onto your Android device. Let's just wait a little bit and see. Let's just try to test it out. Let's open the log viewer. It's nothing showing, but we just need to draw a circle and the log will be appear. And we can consistently clean the log and the viewing it. Thanks for watching. I hope this plugin makes your life a little bit easier when it comes to making apps for mobile devices. And see you next video. You can find me on Twitter at M A C Y K U A N G. And also, you can find me on Google Plus at plus M A C Y K U A N G. Bye for now. Just click. Thank